that inlet in the morning and the sun is coming up and you look out there and you have no idea and every day is a potential adventure. My name is Ernie Foster and my home is Hatteras Village. One of the neat things for me growing up my daddy was a fisherman. I mean, everyone's father fished, but my father was in the sport fishing business. I've lived here all of my life. I was born in the area, and all of my grandparents were born here on Hatteras Island. The great thing about living in a small place is everyone knows you. The terrible thing about living in a small place, everybody knows you. <laughs> this has changed so much since you were little because with the, with the bridge and everything oh, changed. Everything it, it is so dr so dramatic. And fishing is a big, obviously a big part of this community. One of the great things about Hatteras right, is that uh, our fishing offers a lot of variety. Right, let's get rid of it. Uh, the most spectacular fish we catch are, of course, the billfish, and the greatest one of those by far is the blue marlin. And the notion that the closest thing we have to a statue is basically a mounted marlin that was a big deal when it was caught it says something about what this village thinks about the importance of fishing. <laughs> and that was your uncle that caught that? That was my uncle that caught that. This is going to be the 80th year of the Albatross fleet, which uh, I'm beginning to realize that's a, a long time. My father's uh, name was Ernold Foster. He would say, I came up with this idea and all of the old timers in the village told me how crazy I was, that people would pay him to take them sport fishing. So he saved up his money for a couple of years he walked the wood and found someone who would build him the boat that he wanted. And it literally was the first boat built in North Carolina for the purpose of taking people out in the Gulf Stream sport fishing. He started taking me fishing with him. I just ride along. Well, that lasted until the summer I was 13, and then he put me to work. I've worked every fishing season since then. To have a job in which a day off grinds on you. You never have a season in which you don't see something that you have never seen before. It's amazing how that shoal has crept on down there like that. I was you don't just meet customers, they kind of become your friends. Gaining? Yeah. All right. Well, you're going to spend 10, 11 hours a day with them. You, you want them to be your friends. Just go ahead, just go ahead and wind them in. Let me, uh... You got to get them, you got to get inside the boat. Get them inside the boat. Seeing the smiles, when that smile goes from ear to ear, and you know that you have helped them experience something. There we go. It keeps me from taking it for granted. <laughs>